Hi, welcome. Why don't you come join me and allow here on the giveaway blanket. We're making a dream catcher. So when we make a dream catcher, we start on the outer rim and make our way in, one knot-knot at a time. I call these knot-knots because they are not knots. They're just the string, the thread, crossing over itself. Because when you actually make a knot, you block the flow. It becomes an obstacle. Now what I often find myself doing making a dream catcher is this. Unraveling. Because as I go through my way, weaving and wandering, do I often get caught up in little knots of their own, little ties and things that just kind of get in the way. And then I get myself a long enough strand, just like that, and I carry on my way. Now this wool is really interesting, this wool of life that I'm using here. It's creating these little nubs along the way. You can see one right here. And it's kind of neat, it actually moves up and down and it spins all around. Those are those little conglomerates in your life, those things that you do over and over again, and you did them over and over again in another life too. And they show up, because this is the big dream. This isn't just this one, this is all of them, spun together by you. Now the good news is that if I do get ridiculously caught up in this, I mean just beyond myself, my ability to navigate back out of it, I can always ask for more. I mean, there's always another ball of yarn around. And you just say, I've had enough of this one. Can I please have some more, sir? And of course, sir says, yes, my love, you can have more. There's always more for you. I think I'm just gonna stick with this thread I'm working on right now, even though at the moment I'm becoming frustrated with the way it's catching upon itself and creating these nubs and conglomerates of wool. Pulling this wool over my eyes, so to speak. Ah! I can't seem to get this one undone, but I am going to persevere. Because I know this is just a good time for me to practice patience. Aha! Ta-da! Free to move merrily along and continue my dream weave of a thousand years. This isn't only this lifetime that I'm weaving. This is all of life. All of life as we see around us. Every living being is inherent in this dream that I'm weaving. That each of us is weaving we're all doing this. Isn't that crazy? Simultaneously. Thank you for letting me be myself. One again. not not at a time. To the ocean. Thank you and what a time it is. Myself. You know, these things sometimes remind me of the, uh, remember Romper Room? <clears throat> Where the nice lady, <laughs> you remember her name? She'd look through her magical wand and she'd say, I see Bobby and Jimmy and Billy and Sue and wish us a happy birthday as if she really knew us. Because she really does know us. She knows each and every one of us so well. She knows when it's your birthday. She Thank knows everything about you. And is it again. all about you? Oh, flow into the ocean. <laughs> Thank you for 